Hello guys, welcome back. So this is actually going to be a review on this uh, click and play World Peacekeeper Swat Do thing. Uh, the recommended age is 3+. Plus. I, I don't know, man. Like, would you... Anyway, no comment. It's, I'm just, you know, finding this thing uh, very, very interesting. Now, of course, uh, if you've seen pictures of the listing on Amazon, uh, it does show window packaging. And it does show the figure, you know, the outfit... Most of the stuff is assembled, right? Uh, this is just a, uh, I don't know, maybe they're trying the Hasbro thing with the paperless, uh, no, not the paperless, the plasticless packaging. This is just all cardboard. There's no window at all. And another thing, uh, this thing is not assembled. You know, the outfit's not even put on. So, yeah, there is some misrepresentation in the listing, you know, uh, According to Amazon policy, this is something that you can return, uh, you know, because what you get uh, isn't what is shown on the box, right? I mean, technically you get all the stuff, but it's just not assembled. Just being picky, uh, giving uh, this brand a hard time. <laughs> but anyway, uh, yeah, so let's go ahead and take a look at this stuff. I'm going to have to uh, pull the stuff out of the bag. Obviously, you see the back of the packaging. Apparently, there is four different types of these SWAT dudes. And uh, yeah, just as I can tell from looking at this body, uh, this is a really, really old style 1.6 scale body. Uh, this thing most likely dates back to the 90s. Because uh, here's something that's more modern. This is like something that's made in like, you know, around this decade, maybe last decade. Uh, th this particular body has probably been around for at least uh, five to seven years. So, yeah, look at this one. Look at, uh, <laughs> just look at the joints compared to uh, something that's a little bit more modern. Now, the advanced ones, I think uh, there there are ones with even more articulation compared to this guy. So, yeah, the uh, this is really old technology right here. Look at the, the newer ones, the more modern ones. They got the uh, the toe hinge. They got the uh, double ball joint for the uh, ankles. And you can also change the height on that lower leg. Double joint the knees. This guy do have double jointed knees. Uh, but then, yeah, the hip articulation is much better. You got the waist articulation. You got the diaphragm. This guy got, like, the butterfly and a hinge for the shoulders. So... Yeah, much, much more advanced than something that came from the uh, uh, late 90s, early 2000s. Now, I do plan on swapping the body, I guess. But uh, looking at this neck joints, I don't know if this is going to be something that is going to be compatible. Uh, the head doesn't come off. It's like, the head is just like this piece that goes in here. I don't know uh, how this thing is connected, so... We'll see if I can do something about that. Otherwise, I'm going to have to get another head scope to put on there. <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, this really don't look all that great. Obviously, you know, it's really cheap. It's like 20 bucks. So, you know, you can't really expect something that's hyper realistic. Especially when they're marketing this thing for ages 3 plus. So, alright. Let's go ahead and take a look at the other accessories. Uh, I don't think a lot of these is going to be very useful for me. Uh, you know, the plan is to make something that kind of look high-end uh, to army build. So this vest right here, uh, not looking too great. We'll see. I can even open it one hand. I should have taken my knife out of the thing. But uh, this tape seems to be easy. All right, let's go ahead. Get this thing out here. So yeah, giant piece of plasticized PVC. <laughs> I'm not smelling anything, so that's a good sign. Especially if they're gonna market this to uh, ages three plus. You know, there's no. Uh... Actually, I can smell a little bit of the uh, the uh, plasticizer situation, the chemical smell. Ugh. Okay, well, this is this is all right. I plan to put on this mask because uh, you know the, the the face just not looking too high end to me. 
Uh, this strap, this thing is all going to get replaced. I'm going to replace some of my own uh, custom stuff. Just as I suspected, you know, a lot of these brands are using these uh, elastic strap. This is what I got, uh, you know, to make some of my custom accessories. Uh, I'm using like a very similar material to make the slings and the pouches and stuff like that. So, yeah, I mean, it does look very cheap, but uh, it's just not very well sewed together. That's why it looks super cheap. <laughs> you know, like with my stuff, uh, all these things are like cleaned up. And then, you know, uh, sold in a way that you don't have any loose strands and make it look super cheap and stuff like that. So, yeah, I mean, the mask looks all right. You know, it's very probably usable, you know. Yeah, this definitely will get reused for my customs. And then we got the boots. Eh, yeah, it's not amazing, but I think it works. Let's see if I can fit these boots on this guy right here. Yeah, it works. Like you just go in, I have to fiddle around with it a little bit to get it to fit, but the boots should fit. Don't look very high end, but you know. <laughs> Probably will do the job. Yeah. Alright. And then we got the holster. I feel like his weapons are very uh, uh, oversized for uh, the scale. Uh, yeah, this, this holster looks gigantic. Uh, from looking at the uh, packaging, you know, I would I was assuming, you know, all these straps are like uh, soft goods, but it looks like they made these straps out of like plasticized PVC too. So, that's that's definitely interesting. I wasn't expecting that. Uh, it does look okay though. You know, it's looking better than what I'm expecting. However, this 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 is not looking great. <laughs> look at that. Those are the magazines for the MP5. Yeah, not very convincing. This this uh this probably needs to be replaced. We'll see. Okay, so that's one bag, and. Uh, yeah, I, I don't think these are going to get used. And then we have the weapons. <clears throat> a lot of comments in the uh, the reviews, you know, for the actual product reviews, saying, like, you know, people are using these uh, for their, uh, like, placeholders or, you know, for the army builders for their 1-6 scale collection. <laughs> I think is it's a viable option, you know, but I don't think these a lot of these accessories will display very well. You know, if you're putting them right next to the hot toys and stuff like that. Sorry about this, I did not plan this one out. So I'm just like pulling this on the uh, go. So alright, let's see what we got here. Again, very cheap looking strap. You know, if this was like put together a little bit better, it would look nice. It's just they uh, they put minimal effort into uh, doing this kind of stuff. What I will do uh, for this one is I'm gonna uh, probably repaint this thing and then uh, put a matte coat on it. I'm gonna cut these off. You know, these, these ridiculous things doesn't make a lot of sense. And then I'm gonna loop the sling around the buttstock and then uh, attach like one of those like jump ring here and then uh, you know attach my custom one point sling on the guy so this looks presentable but the thing is I'm probably not even gonna use the mp5 because uh, I got this thing already yeah the, these uh these are called the uh, what's that the puzzle model thing hk416 by the way yeah. Again, you know, this pistol looks very oversized. It does. Uh, yeah, that that's a that's a humongous pistol. Probably not gonna get use either. <laughs> I think we have a knife somewhere. Okay, hold on a second. Alright, so we have a radio. 
This looks super cheap. That's not going to get used. Uh, we got the uh, scope here. Probably not going to get used. We got a magazine clamp. I don't know if I'm not going to use the MP5. I'm probably not going to be using these either. Uh, this looks like a kitty toy right there. I can probably use a strap or something. Uh, this knife came pre-bent. It's definitely a painted plasticized PVC. I don't smell anything, so that's at least a good thing. You know, I, I really hate the smell of plasticizer migration, so that sucks. Uh, we got this, uh, I think this is actually made, oh no, it's, just, it's PVC. It's, yeah. So, knife going here. The knife does look a little bit, the handle looks a bit oversized. This looks a little, pretty unrealistic. Yeah. I'm gonna reuse a knife, so we got a lot of accessories that I'm most likely not gonna use. Now, uh, what's the determining factor for this figure is how well this outfit looks. You know, if the outfit looks good, then this thing might be a keeper. <laughs> if it doesn't look good, you know, I'm gonna have to do something else with it. The, uh, the gas mask looks good. The boots are, like, usable, you know put on this thing to make it look somewhat presentable uh, actually the outfit doesn't look too bad yeah it's not like it doesn't have a lot of pouches but you know it's like a very minimalistic design I think if I put some knee pad on there I put a you know tactical vest on it people probably won't be able to tell the difference <laughs> I think this can work yeah I, I don't like these sleeves but you know you put a glove on you put uh, some accessories on it yeah it, it can work so you know like normally if you buy like a one six scale outfit like this online probably gonna run you like 15 bucks so that's something uh let's see what else is there to talk about besides these yeah i, I think most of these parts would work on that body so for uh i think about 18 bucks i pay for this guy yeah I, I don't think this is actually a bad deal i think this is all right so yeah if you guys are looking to uh you know cheaply build your uh, swat team or something or uh you know a bunch of guy with gas masks or something yeah this this might be a viable option like the total cost here we're looking at a little bit under 40 bucks, you know, something. Uh, yeah, I, I can see it work. So anyway, that's pretty much it for this video. Uh, you know, I'll get this guy all like customized and then uh, I'll do a video on the, you know, the, uh, uh, the custom figure. Thanks for watching.